Well, a very good evening or otherwise time appropriate greetings to you folks here on Speed Gaming 2 and welcome to the A Link to the Past Randomizer Daily Race. We got a good one for you on this Friday evening, folks. It is a pedestal race, so that to win this seed, you gotta just pull the pedestal. Today I'm Captain MD and I'm joined tonight by KR. How you doing today? Doing pretty well. As as you had alluded to, this is a pedestal seat, which means we're flipping the requirements. Seven crystals, possibly optional, so long as GT is not required, because you still need seven crystals to get in there. And we need three pennants to finish the seat out. Now I know I'm hoping for a, uh, let's say, turbo seed, where we have triple light world access, but we'll see what we got. Indeed, and we got a great uh, assortment of runners for you tonight. We have Winfox470, Lana Bean, GFE, and Raids. Uh, looks like we've got heart piece and money. Already a little bit of divergence with GFE starting in Sanctuary, possibly making early CAC force play. But um, oh. well, oh, you might get oh, your wish. Oh, we got two, two pendants in the light world and a crystal in desert. Red crystal, that I believe. So, and was that a vanilla green pendant Eastern or was it on Hera? I, I wasn't believe paying attention. it was actually on Eastern, but I think trackers can confirm that for us. Speaking of trackers, we got the. Uh, mother-child team of Lady Laura Linda and Pearson Kid with us here. Very nice, very nice. And yeah, we're getting confirmation that Eastern was in fact the green pendant. Oh, and that's a very early power glove too. We might actually see Turbo, holy crap. Did we really just have to just pull the glove from our uncle's hands? Yes, well he gave it to us, probably took it off and... Still sweaty, but you know. Yeah, eh, dipping in Lake Hylia, that was sort of right out. Yeah, it makes sense. So, Raid's currently now taking... Oh, I just saw um, 20 rupees as the, hurt, as the crab hole and a rare 8 drop. Wow, that is a very good set of uh, bush crab drops for sure, because it's... now. Not only do we not have to buy bombs with that 100 bucks, but we can also um, use those 100 bucks to buy the um, bottle vendor. Yeah, um... Uh, EP, GP... Uh, being... I don't know. Oh yeah, green pendant. That's right. Thank you, Jossie. Uh, anyways, we've gotten some fun, fun routing already. So, Jeffy doesn't know where the glove is because he's the only one who started with uh, just going straight to Kakariko area. In before Kak has another glove. If it does... Oh my goodness, that would be very, very interesting. 20 rupees in a mushroom spot, so nothing too good. It looks like in forest area, so Uncle Play paid off for sure. Indeed, and yeah, again, with the bush crab uh, treasure trove here, economy is definitely not an issue for our runners. In Blind's Hideout, we've got a sword, a, th a second hard container, the hook shot. shot, EDM access, and three bombs. Uh, another thing to note is that some of the other runners did not get the pulls from the the eight drop from the bush crab so jiffy has that advantage indeed when fox has also not pulled a bush crab yet so it doesn't even know about the uh red rupees but yeah at this mm. point luckily we don't need that 500 bucks for zora just yet we can keep ourselves busy for a few more minutes but the glove does put zora in play zora's in play but also with that amount of money he's viable and when fox is gonna try to grind the 50 50 bushes and probably go from the south to Kakariko, which is, I think, a smart play. It just slightly changes order and could matter. You don't have to buy bombs. There's, like, tons of three-packs and a flute in the WoW. You're telling me that we're going to have potential. Had this been triple light world access, this might have been a very turbo seed. Sword, yeah. hookshot, flute, and Kakariko. Power glove on uncle. What else could we ask for? The, the flute by itself is actually logical EDM access. Extremely logical EDM access, that's true. So we have now seven, eight more checks we can make just for BDM immediately. Indeed, and that's not even counting the five checks in South Shore, the two at the dam, the extra one in Ice Rod Cave. Uh, when you say the five in South Shore, you mean Many just Mini Walden. Just Mini Walden, because we have a lot more checks than, for, than just that in South Shore. Indeed. Because you have dam, you have uh, Mini Moldorm, and then you have Ice Rod Cave, which I count as part of South Shore. That's fair. But yeah, we got a cane of Burna in the back of the tavern as well, so we've got invincibility to go on top of all this. Invincibility and a better DPS. <laughs> Much better DPS than Fighter Sword. And the best part about Burna is you can use both that it and Fighter Sword. Very true. 
Now, of course, the big wild card at the point at this point is that blue pendant. So is it going to be in a lousy dungeon in the dark world or is it just going to be chilling in Thieves Town today? If it's in Thieves Town, I'm going to be hyped for these runners. Jet Seed, we could set a potential world record for any category of LTCP arts. <laughs> And that would be certainly very, uh, that'd be certainly very welcome for the runners. Yeah, and also possibly for stream viewers on the East Coast, being, you know, 11 p.m. tonight. That's fair. Also, uh, let's just, I'm just gonna take a notice of the sprites real quick. I know when Fox is playing as a fox, Lana Bean, she's playing as a Rainbow Link. I don't know what Raid's is playing as, but I know GFE is Geno, and I love me some Super Mario RPG. Yeah, I'm... I'm at a loss for Raid Sprite as well, but yeah, I'm, I, uh, understand, uh, or I should say I'm familiar with the other, uh, three, no problem. Mirror and Dam. Oh my goodness. GFV pulled Mirror and Dam. We are Titan's mitts away from having full desert access. Okay, look, I know I call stuff in Rando a lot, but I didn't mean this. You pretty much called all of this before chat. <laughs> you, you and I called this before stream started. Um, trackers can confirm this. We talked about this in stream before chat started. It's the only thing we got wrong so far is that Desert was not a crystal. Or Desert was a crystal. <laughs> thank you for- thank you for helping vouch for us on that one. Yeah. I mean, imagine Boots and Moldorm. I mean, Moldorm or Ice Rod Cave here. That's just speed. Well... Nope, but we get bow! So there's one of our required items out of the way. And a bottle. Uh, so that's another cat check. There was blue mail on the race game. But it blue looks like runners are skipping it. I mean, if you're going for this kind of jet seed, you don't need it till a little bit later. You don't even need it at all because pulling the pedestal does not include a Ganon fight. No, it doesn't. But if you're, if, let's say, Turtle Rock is the third pendant, you might want to try next. Right. I'm hoping it's not that way in beautiful hook clip, by the way. Um, let's just see, uh, I know we have Woodfox in Vanilla. Uh, I don't quite know the other two MSUs yet for Lana Bean and GFE. So do we know that quite yet? I, uh, do not know what they're using right now. All, All right, right, we got so... another three checks coming up from Sahasville's closet. Yep. There's a shield, heart piece, and just a blue rupee, so Saha's Closet is barren. Uh, we know where Green Pendant is, so we can get the Green Pendant quickly and check the fourth check of Saha, which is Saha's Sashal himself. But Alana about to get her bow. And Bottle does open up Sick Kid, too, so we could go back to Kakariko eventually and get Sick Kid. Okay, imagine Sick Kid Titan's mitt. Oh, jeez. Not one, but two people you get to pull it off of. And because Lana has the power gloves, she's making the play to go to the right side of Easter. Yeah, I don't recognize this, uh... Switched. I don't recognize this track. I don't, but it's quite cute. This is Lana Bean's MSU, by the way. Thank you, Laura Linda. Yeah. All right, we've got a non-lamp-locked big key, so that's an extra in-logic check we can make in Eastern, because, yeah, we logically need some sort of light source to get to Armos Knights. I believe we're still and running advanced saw a red logic. Potion. By the way, we are seeing progressive bow here, not um, non-progressive, so two bows are in the seed. If we get silvers in Eastern, that would be very fun, because that means vanilla, or French vanilla bow. There's big key compass on... Uh, hookshot chest so we will have a likely item in big key chest it could still be map but we have to figure out either way yeah i think the allure of the um immediate first dungeon clear and the green pendant has pretty much railroaded everybody to eastern here so we're gonna see gfe kind of take the lead here minus that glove pickup as you mentioned earlier so we're the gonna see how this plays out here. the glove pickup is very important here Oh, and there's Fire Rod. Okay, Armos Knights are in logic, so forget whatever we just said about non-logical Armos Knights. Uh, yeah, Fire Rod, uh, just lights up a torch, uh, puts everything in logic, have fun, and a heart piece. So, one item map is between Armos Knights and Dark Room. At this point, it doesn't matter, you can do both, really, but 
do armless knights. If it's an item, you grab it. If it's not, you might as well go back. Lana being getting her fire rod. Uh, I believe Wind Fox and Raids are not far behind in getting theirs at all either. Now, the difference between the t all four of our runners is pretty much not much more than two minutes. Absolutely. And the longer GFE doesn't go to Uncle, I think the more advantage the other three have over him. Very Just true. Just because, uh, you know, getting that power glove early is great for checks. Uh, speaking of which, I'm thinking that they could go to back of escape after this. Well, just for the three-hander well, checks. Well, here's the question. Do we need the glove for Hera? With this equipment, I don't think we do because we've got flute and mirror. So we can get up there, no problem. Nobody needed for Dark World access. Right, we need to get wherever the last pendant's going to be chilling at. That's fair. A great setup for the quick kill on Armos Knights. Let's see if GAV can execute perfectly. And there it is. And well it's an absolute dark room does have an item confirmed. Hmm, so now next major question of the day. Do you go back or do you wait, uh, just hope it's not there and hope you got a real jet seat on your hand from Zahasrila? Uh, so Lana Bean's MSU is Blast Corps. Blast Corps. Blast Corps. Why did it take me three times, three tries to pronounce that right? Uh, Jeffy is saying is noping out of the item, while Raid is doing it in full dark. All right, Sash gives us Master Sword. Ooh, that is definitely something you want to see for an offensive upgrade, but also not something you want to see if your Dark World access is behind the castle. True, we have one item left for castle, Dark World Access, but it's also important to note we do not have Moon Pearl, which is, as we know, required. No sh Okay, so Sick Kid's giving us Shovel. Okay, so first we take the gloves off off our uncle's, uh, our uncle's wrist, and then we take a shovel from this kid's toy box. Yeah, and a sword from an old man. Jeez Louise. This is the seat of theft. Lana Beam getting her Master Sword. Um, Raid's getting an extra heart container. Unfortunately, it's nothing, so that gamble did not pay off. But uh, Wind Fox is about to get his Master Sword. Uh, Lana Bean is not happy with the shield. <laughs> and uh, Shovel's just Red Boom. And we can also definitely beat Hera so long as Hera Pot is allowed. So if you get Hera Pot, you is. got it. But you can full clear it, actually. Yeah, we've got a... Um... We've got a uh, fire rod, so we have torch usage and all that good stuff. Yeah, fire rod. Oh. I almost thought the GFE was about to go to Metroid, then I realized this is LTTPR, not the <laughs> SMZ3. <laughs> Who knows, maybe the Hera Big Key's in the, uh, maybe the Hera Big Key's in, um... Or fair. What's it? I was gonna call it Bubble Mountain. Oh goodness, yeah, Bubble Mountain. This isn't Key Sanity, though. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, I've been watching. Um, I've been watching a few vods of uh, AL, uh, SMZ3 Key Sanity, and it's pretty cool. Also, did, nice did, half magic on <laughs> Pinnacle Rock. I was gonna say, did you just see what I saw on top of spec? It. This is this is a tur this feels like a turbo seed, which yeah, means it's 100% not. Half magic plus fire rod is definitely a big plus. Yes, it is, but you know. Oh, old man is 20 rupee, but we get the uh, warp there. Um, I'm interested to see as to why they're going to Hera first rather than East Death Mountain. It, I know it's a pendant and you can clear it, and I suppose you can go after it, but it's a little bit quicker, I think, to go to East Death Mountain, save Quidout's old man, and then go to Hera, right? Mm, luck, uh, why is there French, a French vanilla, vanilla moon pearl? pearl? Okay, game, well, if you're finished. Oh, I missed where that last pendant was. Dang it. Hang on. We'll, we'll figure it out. Just for Lana Bean, shields are able. All right, the last pendant is in Thieves Town. Oh my goodness, we have a jet seed. We do. We uh, have a full-on jet seed. Let's go. It's what? thieves. It's thieves. Yes. Are we? We are. are we? We're in we full logic. The game. We literally just need a Titan's mitts or a uh, hammer. No, and that's it. You don't need any of that. So you don't need any of it. You are in full go mode with Moon Pearl. Or hammer. That's it. Yeah, hammer. You need Dark World access. And even then, you can get Aga Dark World access. Yeah. Lamp is also go mode. It did okay. Jet, jet seat it is. 
unfortunately, that's a pretty big oof for GFE, given that he is missing that glove. Yeah, this is... But you don't even need that. Wait, yes you do. You need it for thieves. Ooh, Lana being just missing that hair pot. Go for super speed strats for it? Alright, just because this is a um, pretty quick seed, I'm going to request to switch over to GFE's MSU trackers. Alright, GFE having no issues with uh, the Moldorm fight there. Okay. Uh, receives for the trouble key. a key. Okay, so two out of three pennants down already. We know that GFE has to go back to Uncle, which in this case could actually prove to be an advantage because at this point, you have Master Sword. You might want to go to Aga from there. Imagine if EDMs are Dark World Axis, though. I will laugh if EDM has both the hammer and another glove. Yeah, because that would be um, insane for GFE. Good for everybody else, but insane for GFE. And double confirmation, Thieves Town Blue Pendant. Not that it particularly matters, but the other red crystal is ice. <laughs> well, we're not going there. Blue mail on uh, Paradox as well, so we don't even need the blue mail in race game. Oh, there's the other shirt. All right, we got five checks to get either hammer or glove here or both in Paradox. And then one more in Spiral. Bombos. Power glove! That's gold mode for everybody else once they get there. It's power glove. Okay, Jeffy can get to, <laughs> if Jeffy can go to Uncle, he is in go mode. Once everybody else gets out of Hera and goes to EDM, they will be in go mode from there. That is insane. We're gonna be we're gonna be done with this seed in like tw like less than twenty minutes. Sixteen minutes. <laughs> now you're playing with power. Thank you, M4A. <laughs> Classic. I'm gonna be out of here in like we're gonna be out of here in thirty minutes. Oh yeah, no, this All is all four runners with interviews. I bet. Like, this is a full-on, just, like, Thieves Town Go mode, which makes it even better. And what's even better is we have Flute after this. So you can Flute straight to Kakariko. Yeah, literally the dictionary definition of a Jet Seed here. Now, granted, we're playing also with generally very cooperative settings, but even still, you never know, those could always come back to troll you, but not tonight, clearly. Uh, Drossy? Because you generated the seed, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> GFE fluting out. Going to go to ice check. We know this is nothing because we know the other glove and our final bit of progression is an uncle. Uh, Lana Bean and Windfox very close together, by the way. Just seconds apart. Uh, it, it could even matter that oh, or the chests are opened for progression. We see Bombos, 10 arrows, Titan's Mitt, there it is. Lana Bean saves quits, gonna fly out probably and uh, just go to these town and try to clear. Yeah, Lana sees that glove and she says, I, I'm a head out. I believe Fox is gonna do the exact same thing. We are seconds apart on both ends. This is gonna come down to Thieves execution and uh, Skull and uh, Woods execution. Now, of note though, Raids decided to bust out of Death Mountain and is instead gonna go do Hyrule Castle. That is extremely unfortunate. Indeed. But, Unless, of course, a hammer shows up. I mean, but, the seed's already oh no, dead enough oh, as no, 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 Raze is just going to Aghanim. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is slightly slower Dark World Access, but it's a guaranteed Dark World Access, or Dark World Access, rather than uh, anything else. Jeffy about to go find Glove on Uncle. Yeah, at this point, right now, um, advantage, um... Or I, I would say that at this point, it's pretty much a race between Lana and Windfox for first place yeah. here, because um, yeah, they're both in the right just... neighborhood at yeah, this point. They're both practically in... Oh, wow. First check. First check. That's all you need. First check, big key. You're in go mode. Okay. So, and we've got Burna, so blind is free. So it's like, what more could you ask for for a point, Friday evening in the middle of July? The only thing that matters at this point is who can get slightly better movement execution first. 
Wow. The, I, I, I'm thinking this is going to be a sub-30 seed. For at least one of them. Possibly two or three. I, th I think I would agree with that, yeah. Sub-30 is definitely doable here. I mean, I think we're going to get a sub-25 on Lana and possibly even Wind Fox. Yeah, because on top of that, you know, you're already right around the corner to the pedestal. You can literally just mirror out and um, do what you need to do, you know, after getting through Dr. Wily's Thieves Town here. Dr. Wily's Thieves Town, I love it. I love Mega Man 2 Wily 1 music. Mega Man 2 is one of my favorite, has been one of my favorite games. This song is just iconic from the game, so I always enjoy it. Shoutouts to the Mega Man Battle Network series that's coming out on Switch in a year. Yes. More Mega Man. Yeah. Oh, Lana, again, I told you, this is going to come down to these execution. That's a few seconds lost on that bomb not exploding in time. Ooh, that's an issue. I don't, it still doesn't make up for the lead, but it does give Wind Fox just a tiny bit more time. And to answer a question, chat, we have a grand total of, uh, checks notes, 12 runners tonight. 12 runners tonight. I, I'm assuming we're going to have sub-30s for all of them. So this is going to be very fun. You know, if this were a, uh, if this were a non-pedestal, just regular seven crystal race, this would be terrible luck. Have Pendant Thieves Town, yeah. Unless Pendant of course Thieves Pedestal Town. had, unless of course Pedestal had like Ice Rod or something. True, true. Pedestal, Pedestal Thieves, Pedestal, uh, Pendant Thieves, Pendant Eastern, Pendant uh, Hera. The th three of the easiest dungeons to fully access. And also the first three we had logical clear clearability too. Exactly. Just getting up here while Raze is going into Aga One, uh, but we'll be. Still able to get to Thieves Town in the next, you know, 5-10 minutes. Lana Bean is in blind. I wonder if she'll choose to use, uh, just Sword of Burna. Broken pencils are pointless indeed. Two, three, phase one down. Yeah. Wind Fox entering the- Wind Fox entering blind. Two, two, three. Second phase down. Broken pencils are pointless. Lana Bean about two phases ahead exactly. Two, three. Blind down. Are we going to see sub-23? Quake on blind does not matter. Pendant. And that's blind down for Wind Fox. Blind down for Wind Fox. It's going to take time. But uh, Lana Bean just getting out of there. 45 seconds to make it a sub-23. But uh, can definitely do it. Alright, so Lana's made the mirror. Lana's got a mirror. She's in the... She's in the, uh... She's in... She's now in... Officially in Lost Woods. Wind Fox right behind, just getting into the screen before Forest right now. They are one screen apart. I tell you, this is gonna be a very interesting interview. Oh, very much so. This is gonna be a fun one, though. And, uh, for anybody who's just starting running, uh, this might be a fun category for you. With a time! Of 22.59, just sub 3. Lana Bean finishes in first place this race, second place overall. Indeed, very well done by Lana Bean. Win Fox just 10 seconds behind her. So, Absolutely. fantastic finish. Welcome, Lana Bean, and um, I believe Win Fox is joining us very shortly. Thank you, GG. GG, congratulations on second. Congratulations on second overall. Yeah, that was faster than most pet seeds. <laughs> Indeed, let's... There's a lot to talk about here. So much happened in the first... Like, the, especially the first ten minutes. Like, So, first off, talk to us about the pendant arrangements. Uh, couldn't be better, really. I mean, short of getting desert access and it being faster, uh, I... You couldn't ask for a better placement, honestly. And the items, too. Very friendly. Uh, by the way, with a time of 23.48, GFE is finished. Third in this race, fourth overall. I th I think the... I'm looking at the credits, and I think the witch had mushroom. <laughs> That's funny. 
That's rude. Wait. So the mushroom was... Oh, wait, no. Drugs for sale means it was money. Never mind. I mean, but really, you just wrap this just right, and you can't go wrong. And yeah. welcome GFE, and Winfox, and welcome Winfox. So we got three runners here. <laughs> Yo, GG. Yeah, so... Um, Let's let's talk about things for a second. Um, so everybody, the way um, this ended out was pretty interesting. So GFE, uh, you ended up not uh, your second glove ended up being the uncles, while yeah. Winfox and Lana Bean, yours was East Death Mountain. Imagine getting wrecked for not Uncle Rowden. <laughs> that was the one thing that I think really. Uh punished you there because everything else you were like doing perfectly but just not going to uncle early took you out i mean honestly i think i might could have come in second if the kid hadn't have specifically had shovel <laughs> yeah kid having shovel i think took you out by like a minute and i, I was i was very tempted to skip spiral cave also but i didn't that would have saved a good chunk yeah. of time knowing they were in go mode let Windfox and Lana just exit the minute they got Titan's mitts. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Also, yeah. if I'd had the glove on Uncle, I could have done he's turned into Saha instead of the other way around. I just yeah, kept makes... telling myself, kept telling myself, glove or hammer, glove or hammer, glove or hammer. We were actually going to burst out laughing if, because we had actually, like before the stream, been talking about, okay, what would make this seed go insanely fast? And I think what KR, you were saying, KR, you were saying all pendants in the light world. I was. Which we were two out of three right on that. And then I said, well, okay, then let let that next thing you know, it's just going to be chilling in Thieves Town. Yeah. You had said if it's not all in light world, it's going to, why not two in light world Thieves Town, which actually is quicker than I, I believe than three in light world considering the presets. Yeah, because Desert's a pretty slow dungeon to get in, pretty slow dungeon to do overall, just because so many rooms, lighting the torch, watching the cutscene. Yes, yeah, so it's actually faster to get Thieves Town. We had the absolute fastest seed possible. Yeah, give, given Fire Rod, I was really hoping it was going to be Skullwoods, because that would have been ideal. Oh, that's true. Skullwoods also is really fast, but uh, unless you have to use Keen Bridge Room. Because so, then um, you, you can just rush moth and pull and mirror to pad, so it's oh, like true, a perfect that, setup. That is faster, true. In I would this love very scenario. Sorry, I I would love to know where that hammer ended up uh, being. All things considering, because um, um, to answer a question from somebody in chat, Master Sword was on the green pendant. Easy sword. Yeah, no, super easy, easy sword seed. today. Actually, easy sword, easy seed. That's actually what raids ended up doing. So raids busted out of Hera after beating the dungeon because by that point, um, he had Moon Pearl and Master Sword. So just decided to gun it straight to Aga out of Hera. Uh, I was tempted um, to do that, actually. Which, unfortunately, led uh, led him astray from a much more convenient Titan's Mitts entry yeah. into the Dark World. Uh, by the way, raids is heading to... Uh, pedestal now after just beating blind that was a really good blind fight by the way indeed so everybody in this uh, in this uh, restream and in this room is going to finish it with a sub 30 which is for a weekly seed in general phenomenal but for these settings especially f in insane uh by the way um uh lana do you know what the record is for just a link to the past randomizer in general for any settings i have no idea i think around like 90 seconds randomizer wow oh, randomizer wise uh gosh what we had a 56 57 in the tournament like for any settings any randomized settings oh uh you know i have no idea that's a good question uh because uh if it's anything above 2202 we might have set a new one uh if i remember correctly there was a true ice rod hunt that was like six minutes oh my six minutes total yeah like, Ice Rod was like second or third check they did, kill Trinex, and they were done in like six minutes. Wow, good for them. 
Some mystery seeds seeds over TFH in the 20, 21 minute range. Thank you. Mitz was in Paradox Cave. Third chest, upper or lower level, quote unquote. GG raids. Yeah, like I can understand the play. When I came out of here, I had no gloves at all. GG um, raids, so... 2834. Oh, GG's. But I was also tempted to just rush Ago with Fire Rod and Hope Dot. Um, and welcome raids. Hope. Hello, GG's. GG's. GG's raids. So, congrats to everybody in this room, first of all, on getting a sub 30 uh, for to start things off. Um, so, Raids, why don't you, uh, what are your thoughts on the seed? I'm, I'm guessing I missed Dark World Access in the back of Escape. Uh, no, you missed Titan's Mitts and Paradox Cave. <laughs> Otherwise, I, I felt pretty good about it. You okay? <laughs> Besides, you know, the... I mean, you did a great job on Aga, too, so... That's always a fun thing. Uh, climbing tower dark isn't the best idea, but I had fire rod. It went all right. I'm a, I wasn't too upset about it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, just going to paradox to me always feels like a good gamble, and it really paid off this seed. Or going to uncle. <laughs> yeah, or uncle. Oh, uh, was I the only one not un that didn't uncle out out of curiosity? In this stream, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, in your case, GFE, you didn't unker out. Raids, you busted out out of out at eh, words. You busted out of Death Mountain after Hera. Winfox and Lonnie, between the two of you, it was it was a race. Yeah, that would, that it just came down to like, it literally came down to thieves execution. Winfox, you're about like five ten seconds behind, pretty much after Eastern. But most, yeah. of the, most of the time, these seeds are horrible. They push you close to an hour, if not more, just due to the pendant placement. Actually, Lana, um, did you ever get Harapot? I didn't. I failed it twice, and I just went, heck with it, I'm leaving, we're good, let's just climb. That might have actually cost you the full win. Oh yeah, I saw that by like a minute or something like that. It may have, you, it would have been even. really close. Not even. It was 57 seconds. Yeah, that, that could have cost me for sure. I yeah. just don't. I I should I should learn the Philly um, setup. I will say, cause like I know that super speed is a setup you can do for it now at least. Except if you don't have boots. Oh, you need <laughs> boots for super speed. Yes. That explains a lot of why when I try to do it in SMZ three, I never get it. Fair enough. The bomb setups aren't too bad. I only know one of them, but it works, so. Mine usually works, but if it fails, it fails, and this time I didn't have anything, so I was like, you know what, whatever, just climb. I mean, hey, sub-23 is still a great time, <laughs> and, and sub-25 uh -huh. and, and 30 are great times. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, when I saw the pendant layout at the beginning, it was like, the bow is going to be in some awful location. It's going to still be like an hour and 40 minutes seat. I had the same thought. <laughs> And then Bo was in Mini Moldorm. Yep. French Vanilla Moon Pearl. Thieves is the third crystal. What else could you ask for? I mean, boots, but... Yeah. You're uh. Yeah, boots. That was the one thing you could ask for, but even then, I'll be honest, I don't think it mattered that much. When Fox and GFE with a clear rate of 50, nice. I mean, I didn't check secret passes. Again. Secret there, there was my extra. So I'm looking at the race time right now, and literally almost everybody has finished. You know, let that serve as a testament to how ridiculously fast the seed was for just what, what ended up needing to be done. And High Ruler's finishing right now. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, the entire race finished in 34 minutes, 24 seconds. That's time crazy. for round two, right? <laughs> yeah, we have time for <laughs> round two. Could you yeah. imagine if we actually did that? Anybody is everybody down for that? Uh, yeah. Drossy, roll another here? one. I'll go. Roll another. Somebody roll another one. Go for another one. I do it. Why not? I mean, uh, I would. I would at least give it a shot. <laughs> 
I don't know if that'll happen. Though. Yeah, that cool. doesn't typically happen, but True. you know, I'm, I'm game. Alright. Oh, wait. A lot of people are actually, like, saying they'll go again. Uh, personally, I'm not, uh, I'm not one to, uh, be the authority figure on that, so I'll just let the, uh, I'll just let the veterans decide that yeah. one. Yeah. The writers and whatnot can decide. Yeah, y'all can decide, but, uh, I'm fine staying on for another round. <laughs> Imagine even quicker seed with instead of Thieves Town, Skullwoods with Fire Rod being the third, Chris, the third pendant. Yeah, there were a couple of ways this could have gone fast. Like, I don't know, Flippers... I guess Flippers didn't show up in anything we saw. I mean, we only saw 50 items, so... Um, but yeah, like, Swamp Swamp wasn't too far away from being clearable. But Swamp um, can be slow. Swamp can be slow. Ice was Ice was a, ice was a crystal. Um, ice was the other red, but... I mean, I'm quite... Um disappointed that I didn't skip Link's house. I almost did. Like, I was walking to Uncle and remembered, oh yeah, I never opened Link's house. So I turned around and went back in. <laughs> That's what flute will do to you when you say start. <sighs> so we had, a uh, immediate, uh, it, it just it was just a crazy run all overall I mean sub 30 for everybody I mean that was very very good running from all four of you sub 30 and everybody collected 50 items or less yeah it was fun I liked it it was a good scene fast yeah. but good I mean I don't mind uh I don't mind fast seeds. Very true. Hey, 46 for raids. He wins the collection rate. Oh true. my goodness. Raids actually does win the collection rate. Yeah, because um, no checks out of uh, East Death Mountain. Yep. Only two chests in the East Town. Because I'm dumb. I checked Zelda, or uh, I checked the cell in the East Town. I was like, boots, boots. Oh. I checked it too, completely out of muscle memory. Interesting. So Slumberjack's in chat right now, the one who won. Um, Slumberjack did Hera Thieves Town Eastern, getting Mitz's Go Mode item. Ooh, interesting, interesting choices there. Hmm. It's good routing for sure. Hey, if it works, it works. Never getting yeah. more than one sword because you don't really need it for the bosses, right? Nah, uh, helps with a few enemies in Thieves Town if they get in your way. That's about it. Yeah, but. You know. it, it makes Baldor three spins instead of six swipes. True. Yeah, that's also true, but, you know, sometimes uh, the check to sa Sash is uh, slower than just six swiping Moldorm. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, you even had to come feed Thieves Town and things got hairy because you had half magic and burn. Yeah, you had half magic, you had Burna, you had Fire Rod to deal with the enemies. Well, at this point, you know, given how um, fast we blew, ended up blowing through this, I've, uh, there's not really much for me to say here, so... Um, I, th I think we on the restream side are probably going to have to close out anyway. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you, everybody. Fair enough. Appreciate, appreciate the restream. Oh, uh, wait. I, I almost forgot to mention, we never even said, follow our runners, follow my co-commentator, and uh, follow the trackers, please. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, everybody. Restreamers, trackers, everybody. Thank you, everybody involved. There's more people to talk, so I'll stop there. Thank you. Yeah, GG's to all. Uh, I was hoping for a fast seed, so I definitely got that. It was so Have fast we broke. Everyone. It was so fast we broke the bot. <laughs> that is true. Oh well, all right, everybody. Uh, this was a very fast seed, as you can see. For those of you on Twitch, thank you for joining us live. For those of you on YouTube. Thank you for watching this VOD. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you guys next race. Take care, folks, and have a great rest of your night.